they're going to start with the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, obviously, had the number one pick. That is always a good thing. They, they got Joe Burrow. In the second round, they got T. Higgins. In the third round, they got Logan Wilson out of Wyoming, a linebacker. Um, Akeem Davis Gaither from App State, a linebacker that they got in, uh, I want to say, the fourth round. Uh, yep. they, they really killed this draft, man. They, they did some good things. Their team needs were quarterback, linebacker, and offensive line. Now, if you are an Andy Dalton believer, then you could say that they really didn't need a quarterback. But I think it was pretty well proven that they needed new blood at the position. I don't think anybody. Um, I don't think anybody is an Andy Dalton believer. I I, I believe Andy in the Red family Rocket. Family is not an Andy Dalton believer. I believe in the Red Rocket. I think that he could do wonderful things with your Patriots. But we'll see. You're gonna stand on that island alone, and we'll never find out if it's true or not. Yeah, no, because he he's not gonna go there. <laughs> so, um, but I I thought Andy Dalton was was okay. I don't think he's as good okay. as Joe Burrow. I don't, I'm not disagreeing the fact that he's okay. The problem, the reason they've been mediocre for a decade is because Andy Dalton's okay. Yeah, I, and, and you're 100% right. Um, you know how I feel. He's he's the quarterback that I point to and say, I don't want this guy. Yeah. I don't want him because he'll never be so bad where I get the first pick overall. But he'll never be great and win a Super Bowl or a playoff game ever in his life. Yeah, he he's never I, won a playoff game. I would game. rather boom or bust at the quarterback position more than any other position. Yeah. Uh, I need to know in two or three years, am I shooting you in the head or am I giving you the keys to the franchise? The, That's it. The Bengals, uh, as far as the huddle report goes, they are sixth in the NFL in this draft as far as getting value for their picks. Every single pick that they made had value, which yeah. is, and, and this is according to the Huddle Report's, you know, top 250 list. Uh, that's pretty impressive, you know, and not, not that they were paying attention to the Huddle Report, but, um, I mean, they also got an A from Pro Football Focus. And that's, I mean, it going back and looking at everything that they did here, this made them seem like a competent organization, like that front office might actually know what they're doing. It It's the first draft in, I'm going to say, many years where we walked away and, and said, huh, maybe the Bengals had a really good draft. Yeah. I mean, this is, you know, round five, they had uh, Khalid Kareem, the edge rusher from Notre Dame. Round six, they got uh, the tackle out of Kansas, Hakeem Adinji. Uh, again, I mean, we'll see. You know, I he he's kind oh, of a project, right. but round seven, dude, it, it doesn't matter. Everybody yeah. has a flyer at this point. You got that right. Uh, KB jumped in prediction. Every team that drafted an Alabama player gets an A plus from Gary, F from uh, or an F off from Chris. Eh, not it's really. Not true. It's not true. No, we we try and be unbiased. Through this thing. Yeah, we we try and I've be unbiased here. With that. Um, I I will say this. I like what the Bengals did here. I yeah, I think did. everything that they did fit a need. You know, they, they didn't go super hard after the offensive line, but I think they can do that in free agency, uh, or they can even go through trades. I mean, they've, they've got quite a few pieces that they can move around that we have some value. We disagree on the offensive line. We just we just do. I've watched enough the last two or three years. I've watched enough of the NFL to know there's only three or four teams that have good offensive lines. All the rest of them are crap. So, okay. just, just get, you know, I've seen teams win without offensive linemen. I just have. Yeah. I used to believe it's a necessity. You have to have it or you can't. And maybe you can't win a Super Bowl without it. But we're trying to get from the worst team in the league and one of the worst franchises in 20 years, okay? We're not talking Super Bowl yet. Let's let's get out of the toilet before we start talking Super Bowl. There are other times. Free agency is done. There are no offensive linemen available that anybody's going to go get. All right? You you can go get a few outlier players at different position. O line ain't one of them. Um, so what they have is what they got at O line, and it might be just fine. I think it's going to be fine. Bur Burrow is a competent, capable quarterback that can move around. He knows how to avoid pressure, get the ball out, find the open man when he's on the run. He he's not a statue. He's not your Peyton Manning type where he's just gonna drop back four steps, five steps, and if he can't get the ball out, he's going down. He's he can move. So you know what one of his uh one of his highest comparisons was to Ryan Tannehill, which is 
A little good. Now, obviously, he grades much better than Tannehill. Yeah, but no, I but guess it's that. the same time. Tannehill was was a receiver that that they converted to to quarterback. Yeah, at Texas A and M. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he's an athlete. Absolutely. I don't know that Burrow's athletic enough to have ever played wide receiver at any level, but he's definitely an athlete. I mean, oh, the dude. You know, he's, I, I heard it on uh, on some of the draft talk over the weekend, and of course, it was brought up that he's quote sneaky athletic it's like there's nothing sneaky well, about this they he, have to say sneaky because he's white i know the sneaky it's, part is the white guy yeah they should have said he's got a high motor because that but he doesn't play a position that you want a high motor at so they don't want to say that no that that makes sense that's normally the white that's sneaky a, yeah. fast yeah. means a white guy who's really fast yeah you got that right uh mckinnon jumped in he said the Bengals had a mid-tier line like the rest of their team you can have that line with above average skill players or have a great line with average skill players and succeed, but not both, and they damn sure had both. Yeah. Yeah. And now I think they've got like they'll get AJ Green back this year. They will have T. Higgins I want, up. I on want the AJ side. to have one more good season in the sun for Joe's sake, but also for his legacy's sake. Yeah. He's been mediocre to hurt the last what two to three years. Yeah, it, I think it's been it's three. It's been so long since he was elite. And man, when he was elite. There was nobody better than him. Hey, you are dead on. He just couldn't stay healthy, and I hate that that's going to be his legacy. Give him one more fun year in the sun where he can be healthy and look like the star that he was. And then if he moves on and does something else, at least we remember him for that. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's move on to your brownies. So we like what the Bengals did, right? Oh, a hundred percent. Yes, I'm. I'm not uh, going to say I love it yet. I haven't gotten to a team that I love yet, but, but no, I we'll like we'll do winners and losers and whatnot at, at the at the end of this thing. But yeah, I, I like what the Bengals did a hundred percent. Yeah, the 